hi hi friends so in this video let us discuss about arithmetic mean in previous video i explained you about all the formulas of each mean median more and also so coming to this video i am going to explain you about arithmetic mean in individual series so coming to the question calculate arithmetic mean for following data they will give you this data and they will not they will not provide you that the question belongs to individual series discrete series or continuous series you yourself should identify that whether it is individual discrete or continuous how to identify that i am going to say you now so normally this question belongs to individual series because the numbers which are given in the data are linear form which includes commas so here the number will be given only variables will be given but the frequency will not be given and here this is one variable this is another variable 10 is another variable 17 is another variable 18 is another variable in this way if they give only variables in individual in the, in the question then you can identify that it belongs to individual series then how to identify whether the question belongs to discrete series they in discrete series the question will be given including frequency including frequency along with the variables frequency will also be given but in the case of individual series only variables will be given only x will be given but f will not be given but in the case of discrete series both x and f will be given there is nothing but variable and frequency will be given so this is uh, and then you can identify if the present if there is a presence of x, uh, x and f in the question then you can identify that the question belongs to discrete series so coming to the continuous series how to identify the question belongs to continuous series or not if you see here there will be the presence of classes 10 to 20 is one of the class 20 to 30 is another class 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 are another classes so in this way classes will be represented in the data question data which is given for you and then you can identify that the question belongs to continuous series so in this way you can identify whether the question belongs to individual discrete or continuous series so in this video i'm going to explain you about individual series so remember this three okay by this three only you can answer the question you can solve the problem coming to this question it belongs to arithmetic mean of individual series because because the, the given data which was given here in the numbers form is uh, linear that's something but it consists of only variables but it doesn't consist of any frequency right and coming to the form line before video i explained you the individual series is equals to arithmetic mean for individual series is equals to sigma x by n sigma x by n and here variables x means variable i have mentioned here right so what are variables 7 6 8 10 13 14 all of these are variables and n is equals to 6 n is nothing but number of variables how many number of variables are there if you see a count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total so totally there are six variables right so here n indicates number of variables so you have to mention here six okay coming to the formula now apply formula so what is the formula sigma x by n so normally we know x is equals to all of this three right all of these all and coming to this sigma here sigma indicates total that is nothing but you have to uh, you have to do addition each and everything each and everything here all of this data you have to add you have to sum all of this data that indicates sigma so sigma x will be all of this so sigma x will be 58 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 is equals to 58 so you have to write here 58 by 6 sigma x by n 58 by 6 and again calculate here you will get 9.6 so, uh, so, according to you, so writing result is very much important in the examinations. You have to write result and it carries two marks minimum. So, calculate arithmetic mean for following data. This was, this was given in the question, right? So, you have to result in this way. Uh, the arithmetic mean for the following data, you have to write this is equals to 9.6. In this way, you have to write the result. So, this is about arithmetic mean in individual series. So, in next video, let us discuss about arithmetic mean in discrete series. So in this video let us discuss about arithmetic mean in discrete series in previous video I explained you about arithmetic mean in individual series. So in this video let us discuss about uh, mean in discrete series. So coming to the question uh, the data recorded on the number of chlorophyll deficient plants in a lentil populations are given below. Calculate arithmetic mean. So uh, I have said you before only uh, normally the question in the question they will not give uh, discrete series individual series continuous series you yourself should identify whether it belongs to discrete continuous or uh, individual so how to how to uh, identify that I have explained in my previous video so link will be given in the description box so coming to the question number of chlorophyll uh, deficient leaves number of chlorophyll deficient leaves are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the number which is which is denoted with x that is nothing but all of these are variables right so it is denoted with x so coming to the number of plants 
which is united with f that is nothing but it is said to be as frequency so what i have said you how to identify discrete series if there is a presence of frequency then you can identify that uh, the question belongs to pre, uh, discrete series so here coming to the frequency uh, 34 14 20 24 25 33 uh, which is suitable for this variables that is nothing but number of chlorophyll deficient leaves so coming to the calculation so what is the formula which was given for arithmetic mean in discrete series sigma fx by sigma f right and coming to the calculation how to calculate this firstly you have to prepare a box here x f and fx see x is nothing but the variables that is nothing but number of chlorophyll leaves in examination you have to write properly here just i have drawn i have given a rough explanation for your proper understanding but in examination you have to write properly that is nothing but you have to uh, write here x nothing but chlorophyll number of chlorophyll deficient leaves in that way you have to write x f is nothing but number of plants and fx is nothing but summation of frequency as well as the variables so coming to the here 0 1 2 3 4 5 which has been mentioned over in the question and coming to the frequency 34 14 all of these are mentioned in the question but here you have to write fx fx is nothing but f into x frequency into variables so you have to multiply this frequency with variables so 0 into 34 0 into anything is 0 okay and 1 into 14 14 2 into 20 40 3 into 24 72 4 into 25 100 5 into 33 165 so in this way you have to calculate fx you have to remember this without remembering you can't do anything so coming to this uh, next sigma f is equals to 150 how you got 150 sigma f what is the sigma indicates what sigma indicates summation that's nothing but you have to do addition all of these frequencies 34 plus 14 plus 20 plus 24 plus 25 plus 33 is equals to 150 so sigma f is equals to 150 normal f indicates frequency sigma f indicates summation of frequency there's nothing but uh, a, a doing addition each and everything you have to add each and everything which is present in the frequency column and coming to the fx sigma fx that is nothing but you have to add each and everything of fx value 0 plus 14 plus 40 plus 72 plus 100 plus 165 is equals to 391 so sigma fx will be equals to 391 so these are the two values which you have to get so Coming to the arithmetic mean discrete series formula, you know that sigma fx by sigma f is a formula which I explained in my previous videos. And here sigma fx means what? So sigma fx is equals to 391 and sigma f is equals to 190, right? 391 divided by 190 is equals to 2.6 which you will get the final answer. And you have to write result. The result is very much important to write for each and every sum because uh, result writing result carries two marks. So which is very much important to write. So, thank you for watching this video guys. In next video, let us discuss about arithmetic mean in continuous series. So, in this video, let us discuss about arithmetic mean in continuous series. In previous videos, I have explained you about arithmetic mean in individual series as well as discrete series. And the link of that videos will be given in the description box. So, if you are interested, you can watch. Coming to the continuous series. So, question given here is, complete the mean for the following data. So, in the question, they will not give you whether the question belongs to continuous series or discrete series or individual series. You yourself should identify whether that belongs to continuous, discrete or individual. So, how to, in, how to identify whether the question belongs to continuous series is, uh, normally they will give you this type of classes. 0 to 10 is one of the type of class, 10 to 20 is another class, 20 to 30 another class, 30 to 40 another class. 40 to 50, 50 to 60 are different types of class. In this way, they will give you types of class. If they give you class classes, then you can identify that it belongs to continuous series and you can apply the formula and you can solve the solution. Coming to the solution, uh, normally this is the question which was given for you and how to solve this problem. X, F, M, F, M. X is nothing but variables. That is nothing but plant height in centimeters. F, now, F is nothing but frequency and in the question it indicates number of varieties and M is the midpoint FM is frequency into midpoint we have to multiply both of this so what is midpoint? midpoint is nothing but for example if you see in this, in this class in, from, uh, in 0 to 10 what is the midpoint from 0 to 10? 5 right? 10 to 20? 15 will be the midpoint 20 to 30? 25 will be the midpoint 30 to 40? 40, 40. 35 will be the midpoint in this way 40 to 50 45 will be the midpoint 50 to 60 55 will be the midpoint by this you can understand what is the meaning of this midpoint right and next uh, fm 
FM is nothing but you have to multiply the value of frequency and value of M. That's nothing but 5 into 5, you will get 25. 10 into 15, you will get 150. 25 into 25, 625. 30 into 35, 1050. 20 into 45, 900. 10 into 55, 550. In this way, you will get the answer. And what is the formula which was given for you in the continuous series of mean? Sigma FM by Sigma F is the formula. And you have to apply this formula. See here, what is the Sigma FM? Sigma FM is nothing but Sigma here. Sigma indicates total summation. Summation of the uh, frequency to in midpoint. That's nothing but you, you got the value of frequency to midpoint, right? FM, you got the value of FMs. Now you have to add each of the FM value. 25 plus, 150 plus, 625 plus, 1050 plus, 900 plus, 550 is equals to 3300. This is the value of Sigma FM and in the numerator you will write 3300 coming to this denominator what is the what is the formula indicates in the denominator sigma f that is nothing but you have to do addition of all of these values 5 plus 10 plus 25 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 so sigma f is equals to 100 and you have to write here 100 in the denominator and you have to divide both of these 3300 divided by 100 is equals to 33 so this is the answer which was given for you in the question and you have to write the result result is very much important to write it carries two marks in each and every question paper so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box and i will clarify your doubts immediately of course there will be doubts little bit doubts which will be arrived in the statistics so you have to uh, you have to get clarified by yourself by solving all of the questions so in next video i'm going to explain you about mean sorry median in this video we completed about mean right so in next video i'm going to explain you about median in in both in all of these individual series continuous series and discrete series thank you for watching this video